Hello and welcome to Dead Dad's Kitchen. We are doing something so special and fun today. Please come join. I'd love some company. Well, they say he's not coming back and nothing can fill the void, but at least we can try with food. I'll make some apple pie, come on in. It's Dead Dad's Kitchen. So I told you today's video is super special and there are a couple reasons. Let's dive into the first one. Mm. I would like to give a big thank you to Wink for sponsoring this video. They are like a dream, dream sponsor of mine. So this is like so huge to get to share this with you. So let me tell you about Wink just a little bit. Let's do an unboxing. We've never done that on my channel before. So just the first thing, their packaging is like so beyond. Like the first time I got this package sent to me, I literally like, freaked out and like called my, my FaceTime my mom. I was like, look how cute this is. Make, and then it says pour, and then it says decisions, but the pour is spelled like pouring wine. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you're thinking, oh my gosh, Irene, this does sound super exciting, but like I don't fully understand what Wink is. Well, baby, let me tell you. Wink is the wine subscription service that wants to make wine a lot more accessible to everybody. So it's not just like these like fancy people in fancy restaurants being fancy. You get to have the internet's favorite wines like delivered right to your door once a month. And it's super easy to start. You take a one minute quiz, which is actually so fun to take because it just like asks you about things you like to eat and things you like to drink and like, Oh, do you like red meat? Do you like a lot of vegetables? Do you like chocolate? What kind of chocolate? It's like very, very cute. And based off of that quiz, they send you four bottles of wine a month that are like totally tailored to your taste. And they're really, really high quality wines at very fair prices, which like mama's a fan of. So it's totally, totally customizable to your taste. If you wanna go vegan wines, if you wanna go sustainable wines, if you wanna go low sugar wines, which are so delicious, just letting you know, so much to offer, so many wines. It, I spent 15 minutes just looking at the pretty labels, honestly, when I was on their site. So here's the thing, you guys know I love wine a lot and I love trying new wines. And so these are all like, here's a wine that I picked because I was like, oh, I wanna make steak for a dead dad's kitchen. Hello, here we are. And I want a Cabernet to go with it. And look how freaking cute this little bottle is, a little pig on it. It reminded me of me. And then I asked my good friend at Wink, his name's Andrew, to help me like pick something out. And he got me what looks to be probably the coolest wine bottle I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, there's a wax seal. What? I don't even need to try to get you to buy this. Look at this. Have you ever seen a bottle of wine this cool in your life? You know, mama's got to film. I got to edit. I don't have time to just like research wines and do all this stuff. As fun as that does sound, but Wink kind of just like does it for me. Comes right to my door. I hear the little buzzer and it says, ring, ring. Here's a Wink delivery. And I say, <laughs> please come up right now. So, oh, and I also, oh my God. Oh, look at this. Am I? luxury for $29.95 a month? I think I am. <laughs> Wine can get really, glug glug. Wine can get really, really pricey and Wink wants to make sure everyone has a chance to try these beautiful wines that the world has to offer. And they're bringing them right to your door, babe. There's not even a question. Oh my God, could I be freaking cuter? Look at my babies. Anyway, are you gonna buy it? <laughs> So here's the thing, I wanna give this one a little tasty roux while we're here together. I honestly don't know how you're not already clicking the link below, but let me just give you a couple more little notes. There are no membership fees. You can cancel or pause a month at any time. And let's say you get a wine that you're not like super fatal for. Okay, Wink will replace it. Wink, like myself, just wants you to have a good time and a good glass of wine, honestly. We are opening our Le Fermeur. Oh my God, it smells gorgeous. Hello. <laughs> We're just gonna do a little tasty taste. Ooh, a little swirl. A swirl, a sniff, a sip, a swish. Oh my God. I do believe I just found my new favorite red wine. So <laughs> I think you have the opportunity to do that too. You're going to love Wink because I love Wink and I'm not gonna steer you wrong, I promise. Click the link in my description to try four new bottles of wine for only $29.95. Shipping is free and the promo code is applied at checkout. I'm so beyond excited. My mom is truly so jealous, but now she can use my code and you can too. I would love if you did. I just want you to have some good wine. So let's get started on that steak and one more big, big thank you to Wink for sponsoring this video. I'm so, so beyond grateful for it. So thank you. Mm. 
Okay, we are going to move on to the main event of today, which is our steak video. Is the air conditioning too loud? I think it is, but I'm sweating through all of my makeup. Well, now it's your fault if I look bad. I love blaming things on people. Here's the gag. One of my dad's favorite meals of all time was steak. He used to, this is gonna be hard to explain. He used to measure the amount that something cost with steaks. So if I was like, oh dad, I really want this new pair of jeans. They're like $60. And he was like, you fucking kidding me? That's four, that's four steaks. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, so steak was quite the hot commodity in the Walton household growing up. He cooked a beautiful steak. My mom also cooks a really nice steak. I love both of theirs so much, but I'm gonna do it just a little bit differently today in classic Dead Dad's Kitchen style. Today, we are going to butter baste a steak. It's kind of just like fun to do. It's very beautiful to watch. Let's just get right into it. I'm super excited to show you. I just got a New York strip steak, which is definitely a wonderful cut of meat. It's not quite as fatty as like a ribeye, but this New York strip just sort of spoke to me today. It does have some nice marbling still, just not quite as much as a ribeye. And if you're saying, oh my God, what's marbling? Marbling is these little white, what looks kind of like veins. Those are actually little pockets of fat. A lot of flavor in there. So the more marbling on a steak, usually the like tastier and more tender it'll be. This one still looked really beautiful and it was a nice big steak. That way I can have leftovers for tomorrow when I have my steak and eggs. I like my steak to be cooked rare. However, I wanna show you guys a medium rare. The most important thing I'm gonna tell you today is you can have your steak however you'd like it cooked. I'm sure some people will give you a hard time, maybe myself included. If anybody's actually caring that much about how you like to eat your food, that's a different story and you probably shouldn't hang out with them anymore. So what you're going to need for our butter basted steak is a steak of your choice, some good salted butter, garlic, thyme, cracked black pepper, and a good amount of salt. Mama is sweaty. Now when it comes to the prep for your steak, you want it to come to room temperature. So this bad boy has been out for about an hour and a half. We want to liberally season our steak. So we're gonna take a good amount of salt on here. Not packed on, but covered evenly. I just pat it dry so that the salt can stick to it nicely. We want our pan on high heat. I have it just like a hair below high. When it comes to a steak and when it comes to wanting like a really good sear and a great crust on there, you wanna use an oil that has a higher smoke point. And for that, we're gonna do avocado oil because the smoke point on this is 500. A smoke point is when your oil stops kind of like doing what it should and starts to sort of burn and you don't want that. So we're gonna put a generous amount of oil, not too, too much. When I say season your steak, I just mean salt. Because because these beautiful little peppercorns can burn really, really easily. And so we are going to use that fresh cracked pepper at the end to really allow it to like live its best life. You know what I mean? I'm not kidding you guys. This is probably the best red wine I've ever had. A little gamey. Oh my God. I cannot wait to have this with this steak. This isn't even part of the sponsor part. <laughs> Now, since that's getting ready, oh shoot. Just make sure you wash your thyme a little bit. Oh, and shoot, <laughs> get your garlic. I'm gonna, I gotta turn this off, hold on. So we have our, oh my God, that thyme smells delicious. So we have our crushed garlic and our thyme. These are our beautiful aromatics that are going to go into our butter that we're basting with. Speaking of which, you wanna get a good spoon. I have basically a soup spoon, pretty big. The last and final thing I recommend you getting if you are going to make this steak and you want it to come out perfectly, grab a thermometer because we are going to measure the internal temperature of this steak to see what stage it's at. I'm going to put a diagram right here of what your internal temperature should be. So thank you very much to this person for making it. I think we're ready to go. And we should hear a nice sear when this goes in, okay? Okay, perfect. Too much oil. Gonna grab a pair of tongs to be able to flip this guy, but we wanna give it just a minute. So in the meantime, we can open our butter and get a little pat of butter ready to go. And by little, I mean a la. And we're gonna let this sit on this side until it has a really nice, beautiful sear on it. Nice crust, it should be really brown and gorgeous. And that usually takes about two minutes. Cool, I'm gonna flip this guy. And now we're gonna start butter basting. I'm sorry it's loud, I just want you to be able to hear. So we're going to take our butter, put it in the bottom of the pan, that's gonna start to melt. I'm actually gonna reduce my heat just a touch. And now we can put in our aromatics, our garlic and our thyme right in that butter. We're gonna get our spoon, move that steak over, the butter is now cooking all of this beautiful garlic and thyme, and you're gonna start to take that and just plop it on the steak.
Is that not just so stunning? I want to just grab the internal temperature real quick. Okay, so we're only at 112 right now. So we're gonna keep cooking her for a little bit. <laughs> I get a little too excited sometimes. I wanna do just a quick flippy. Oh my living God. Have you ever seen something more beautiful in your life? All right, it feels like it's gonna be ready. Awesome, we're at 136. And you guys can't forget, there's a thing called carryover heat. That's like why you take a cake out a little bit before it's done because it's gonna keep cooking for a couple minutes. So let's just do one more nice little basty roux. Beautiful. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put it right over here to rest. Look at her. And this is where I'm actually gonna add that pepper. I wish I could do it with one hand, but I can't. We're gonna let this guy rest for like 10 to 15 minutes. And the reason we do that is because we just put so much love and effort into this. If we cut it right now, all of those gorgeous juices from the marbling I showed you before are just gonna spill out. So we need to give it a second to cool back down. That way, when we cut into it, all the juice stays in that bite whenever we get to take it. Just put this off to the side. If you guys saw my fridge haul, I also did like bruschetta and steak for dinner that night. Something I did last week, I made that dinner again, was I dipped the bread in this and then I toasted the bread and it was like truly wild. If you want to eat this garlic, you are, it would be delicious. Actually, hell yeah. I also made some smashed potatoes for our dinner. So I'm just gonna plop it on there. Why not? Okay, I'll see you when we're ready. First of all, oh my God. Look at this, look at this unbelievably gorgeous. Let me, oh, how can I focus this bad boy? Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, look at this plate we've created. Look at this incredibly impressive dinner that honestly didn't take that long to make and is so impressive. <laughs> Isn't something even more impressive when you say how impressive it is? Okay, we are going to have a little bit more of our wine so that we can complete our beautiful meal. I really think this cab is going to pair so perfectly. Actually, it's so pretty. Let's just keep her right there. A little sip to cleanse the palate. Unreal. A gorgeous steak, some potatoes. If you guys want that potato recipe, you can check right there. I think it's time we dive in. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. Look at that perfect steak. Only one thing left to do. I was correct. It does pair perfectly. Now, Let's dive in. <laughs> Dude, something about, and I know there's like the classic, like, oh, you're a meat and potatoes kind of person. It's popular for a reason. It's the perfect meal. Your partner's parents are coming into town. Okay, steak. Okay, delicious bottle of wine. A little salad. Maybe make a little, okay, I'm gonna plan the meal. Here's your perfect, oh my God, my boyfriend just told me his parents are coming into town this weekend and it's Thursday meal. You do some bruschetta. You get some bruschetta ready for as soon as they walk in the door. They have, ooh, I need this rolling chair more often. You greet them with a nice bottle of rosé, some bruschetta, unbelievable. Now, oh, we're drinking, we're having little bites, delicious. Ah, oh, you know, your new girlfriend seems really interesting. Oh my God, thank you so much. She's also a great cook. Can't wait for you to try the dinner. Oh, what's for dinner? Ring, ring, time for dinner. We have our steak we just showed you how to make. We have the smashed potatoes that I showed you how to make in a different video. Get a little salad going, simple salad. Keep it simple, keep it fresh. This Cabernet, they're gonna be like, oh my God, is your new partner a sommelier? We've been needing one of those in our family. And then for dessert, oh my God. Okay, for dessert, hold on. For dessert, you made the brownies that I made a couple of weeks, a uh, month ago, and you serve it with a little sparkling wine. Or, if anyone's partial to red, this cab would actually be very good with chocolate too. Oh my God, you're getting proposed to next week. Parents fly out, he's getting on one knee. Am I just speaking into existence what I want to happen to me? Maybe, but me and Wink are here to help make it work. I, they didn't want me to do all this. I, this is a purely my own thing. Wow, well, you're welcome for your proposal meal. I really hope you guys try this steak out, please, Please let me know if you do. And I really, really hope you try Wink Out. Please check out that code down below. It's gonna be worth it. Just try it once, you're gonna be hooked, I promise. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, 
And most importantly, have a great day. Ha, ha, ha.